folks, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel, and today we're talking about, is this would be a shout out to Robert Spencer, alright, I mean, now we're talking about some things that I learned from the YouTube channel about Jihad, about, I mean, there's things that, that still really have to be right that it seems when you're talking about jihad and and sharia law and what would these people do that i am not in the united states right now it has many people think that they don't want to you know lose especially in america that they don't want to lose the second amendment right it means that the right of bare arms and stuff, you you know all this stuff, right? And then that way is talking about it, they're, they're saying that this is a religion of peace, actually is the religion of tyranny, right? And one thing that I I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm not gonna go and hate on all Muslims or anything, but most likely when when somebody would speak the truth, people will not hear the truth, sometimes the truth hurts, and for example, what is going on with all the stuff, about the nut who went and shoot around a, a couple of people worshipping at a mosque in New Zealand, in Christ Church, would be, end up with somewhere in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, in the other hand, a bunch of churches, they were like bombed by Islamists, right? And then all this together goes to where in the world would people will lose, will flex some of their laws. I mean, Robert Spencer, I think you have made me think of something, even though I'm not saying whatever it is, this is people, a, a, a personal choice, whoever choose to own a gun or not to own a gun, right, put it that way, let's say about this, this stuff, and we were talking about, and maybe, made me think of this, Robert Spencer, what you made me think, and have, what I have never seen in Jihad Watch, latest on your YouTube videos, basis on whatever happened in Sri Lanka, and uh, I don't know where could I find videos when you were talking about the facts of this stuff, it made me think, thank you Robert Spencer for making me think about the Reiwa period, when I think about the Reiwa period right now in Japan, it don't, it doesn't make me think about Japan anymore, no, it doesn't make me think about Japan. What it made me think of the Reiwa era, it made me think of the American Wild West. It made me think of seeing a Western. Why it wouldn't have made me think of seeing a Western? Why? Because, anyway, Robert Spencer, if you've seen... John Wayne and Clint Eastwood and all they have, all they gonna do end up with gunfights, and then uh, like it's, they it, they just see maybe you seen good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, <laughs> this is the way you've seen it. This is the way I seen the Rewa era. It's like a western. Why I seen it's a western because. I mean, uh, you've seen them cowboys or, you know, war gunslingers pulling out their guns. And when they pull out the guns and they start a gunfight. And then this is the reason why I have the idea that most likely Japan is not going to their glorious past of samurais and all that stuff. But it's going back to the past as their own future through, like, similar to... The Wild West with uh, with bandits and good guys and gunfights and sword 
and sort, right? Why? Because there's going to be a time that once this kind of incident has happened, I mean, there was, I have an idea of what is the Reiwa period. It would be like an anime based on Japan and whatever and what sort of not. No, it would be like, it would be like an anime banned most likely in Muslim countries because they're telling the truth about Reiwa because you are one of the protagonists that at the end, even though I wanted to make a video about you, Robert Spencer, being in Japan, but most likely, this is most most likely an idea of thought of mind for you to create a Western. And why do I have that thought of creating a Western, right? It all takes place. It all takes place in the past. In the, in, in the town, in some town in the wild west, you know, uh, just think about it. Just a town in the wild west. And the names that I have in, in, in common, even though this is regarded the Rewa era, was, um, there's a couple of names. Arabian, Cru um, Arabian Outlaws. That's what it is, Arabian Outlaws, um, uh, uh, Reya, Reya, like, because instead of Reya, Reya, Race Law, and, and Outlaws of Arabia, and, uh, Abby, Abby's Marshall, because the, Abby's Marshall, because of the town, of that small town in, in America, in the West, in the Old West, is like when his name is Abby Charles. To make it a twist to Chinzo Abby of the Prime Minister of Japan, but this takes in the Wild West in America. And, uh, and one other name, American Crusades. And this, what is what American Crusades, Mr. Spencer, is similar to the Crusades in Europe, but this would be, you know, American Crusades. It would be like cowboys, a bunch of people with rays, with Ray and his fellow people. And one thing that 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 I have a sheriff named Robert Panzer. It's more like it is. It's like you, Robert Spencer, ending up. At the NRA, what is it? What is that Japan would be well prepared with flexible gun laws and allow Japanese citizens to carry guns? And uh, in other words, preaching the Second Amendment with no with no restrictions in Japan. And all it is to live within peace within. Refugees from Muslim countries. And what is this thing all about? What it is, is a couple of outlaws coming from Arabia. They come to a small town in America. And that town most likely is more like a representation. This goes back to the decade of the 1860s, 1870s, 1880s, or probably around the early 1900s, right? The early 1900s, right? So, what it is about this, this town is that there is a church. Jackson's, I mean, what it is about Jackson's is it's just us to simulate the name to refer into the Yasukuni Shrine. The Yasukuni Shrine, in a way, have been praised with soldiers from World War II, even soldiers that have been assassinated Muslim fighters. 
in some court or, or some case around World War Two, Moscow and China and stuff, right? This is most likely to appear with that with that with that situation about why this church has, is most likely a representation to the modern day Rewa period to of the Yasukuni shrine is because these Arabian outlaws in that town were to blow up the church to have some Sharia law back in the back in the old west replacing it with a mosque so there's this guy named Ray so it is Ray's way to take over to take over against these Arabian outlaws and that would be Ray's way Ray wa it makes any it makes kind of sense going to the past to focus on the Reiwa period in Japan so that would be the past in America represents the Reiwa period era in Japan Old West the uh, full of whatever it is of gunslingers and yeah even even that the only the only out, outlaws would face are the Arabian outlaws and that's it so what is this western would be out is for you Spencer to figure out to dissimulate all this in the past that might probably that this western would be banned in most likely the Middle East in most likely all Muslim countries because it tells a message about what happened in this fictional story of a small town in America about about Arabian outlaws blowing up a church and settling for for Sharia law or jihad in that small town. So what it is is that the, the Ray, the the cowboy Ray, the hero who was in that movie, would take down and the and so the so-called American Crusades. It's a bunch of people. Ray and his crusade and his American Crusades were go out go out in a gunfight to take down the Arabian outlaws. Yeah. And the, even the leader of the Arabian outlaws. Like a gunfight. You know? Because they were the guilty ones to take down a church using dynamite in that period. So, as this, these Arabian outlaws were the ones involved, so, I mean, this is most likely the tale about this, Mr. Robert Spencer, why I think about the Ray Wallo, the Ray Wallo in that way, because there is this guy named Carl, and, the, and, and it says he's going to take good with his, guy, with his folks and, and all a bunch of gunslingers that were, were, are going to rage against the Arabian outlaws blowing up a church in that small town of America in, in the Wild West. So this could be so many things going on. Sheriff May named Robert Panzer. And that means that is you, Mr. Robert Spencer, in the modern day times, advising with a pro-gun group about arming Japanese citizens with guns. So that Sheriff Panzer is having a warning, and he put the, these Arabian outlaws in the most wanted list. In the wanted list, just like you seen any western movie, right? So, and there is uh, Abby Charles, the mayor of that, of that small town, having some action to be involved. It's uh, agreeing with the sheriff about the, about this, and then 
Carl want to take Matt, the matter out of his own hands to take down the Arabian outlaws that burn out, that burn, that blew up the church in that, in that small town in America, in, right there in the 1880s or the early 1890s or early 1900s, right? So, in that case, so in, in that case of the church, that is the Yasukuni Shrine in the Rewa era, the, the Cowboy Ray and his American Crusades, that means the Rewa era, and Robert Panzer, uh, the Sheriff, of that small town, that means you advising Japan of what is going on. Yes, Mr. Robert Spencer and Abby Charles, Shinzo Abby. All this would be that this Western movie of the past during the era of the wild west during the era of the wild west shows a good representation of the Reiwa era in Japan when they change emperor and when they change emperor there is a chance that anything could be possible. These, as you're right about jihad and Sharia law, but these people are ready to take some action to take down the emperor, to blow up the Yasukuni shrine, to make it possible as you for the for the protagonist, Mr. Robert Spencer ending up talking with whoever is the new leader of the NRA in Virginia, talking about Japan being well prepared to receive these refugees by arming the citizens of Japan, spreading this new law, all based to be covered in a Western that I have included Call it whatever, call it Carl's Way. Uh, oh, Ray, I mean, I mean, Ray, sorry about that. The guy, Ray, and his cowboys, right? Ready to take down his, down on his own hands and agree with, with, uh, Charles, uh, Abby Charles and Robert Panzer advising about. And they have the, the most wanted list, so Ray would be the one taking down the leader of the Arabian Outlaws. So, Robert Spencer, so this is it, how the plot, what it is, that this Western taking place in the wild west of America, of the United States of America, that means that you would end up in... The NRA meeting and telling how Japan will be fully prepared by arming their citizens, weakening their gun laws to apply to live within the refugees of these Islamic countries that whenever or sooner or later that would that when they attack with Sharia law, attack the new emperor, attack the the Yasukuni shrine and all of this in a matter of time that it would end up with Japan having similar gun laws with the United States of America. Why is this reason? Becomes because I believe that you having this having set up a western you have uh, Ray and his group of American Crusades 
you have these Arabian outlaws, you have a church that these Arabian outlaws are going to blow up in that small town in America. And you have Robert Pence, the sheriff, Abby Charles, the, the mayor of that small town. And what you got is all this happening in this fictional story against these Arabian outlaws blowing up a church. The church is the Yasukuni shrine in today's time. Uh, Robert Panzer is you, Robert Spencer, at the NRA meeting, telling Japan how to be better prepared to live with the people to protect from Sharia law by using guns. And, and, and there you have it, Shinzo Abbey, I mean, that's, Char that's Abby Charles. Of the small town. So what you what you got right there is that raceway, race taking down the Arabian outlaws. So this with this western would be produced in Hollywood or whoever come up with that kind of idea, you just better think Robert Spencer. Think, think about the setup of the of these Arabian outlaws, the American Crusades. They're like a bunch of cowboys, Ray and his car cowboys going on in the, in the raceway. That means Ray what raceway, and um, Abby Charles, mayor of the small town. It is Jinzo Abby, prime minister of Japan, and. So, so much focusing on the church. What is a representation of the Yasukuni shrine? And all of this because, for a matter of fact, one of these Japanese soldiers were honored that they were fighting, in, fighting or blowing up mosques during World War II in China or around the Muslim countries. And this is why that this western should be made because the Rewa era would be more towards fictional characters that represents was Ray as the Rewa era Ray the cowboy and his gunslingers who are the American Crusades the Arabian Crusaders, the war, the Islamic terrorists who are about to plan to blow up the Yasukuni shrine to replace the Yasukuni shrine with a mosque. And they're trying to put in danger the emperor, so they want to turn Japan into a totally full Muslim country. And what we have right there is the whole setup and the Robert Panzer sheriff meaning that you tell in Japan how it is that it's better off to live armed, as they say, an armed nation is a protected nation. So i given you that, Mr. Robert Spencer. And for all of you watching this, please subscribe to the Embargo Man channel. And for Robert Spencer right there, if you have watched this video, what I'm talking about right now and what you have opened my mind and how I see things so clearly. So what what is so mention of this western that it, that it, that it takes place in the past that it would happen in modern time Japan in the Reiwa era is because you're right about what you have said. You're right. The Reiwa era to me has made me think back to the Wild West in America with this Western movie that you have to plan to do that you would say that what happened in this small town Ameri in America would really happen in Japan. That means 
you be you be the protagonist of, of all this as a sheriff from the past and what would happen with that small town the church is most likely would be the Yasukuni shrine the Arabian outlaws or the Islamic terrorists that got down like the same thing they want to do put Sharia law in that small town in America in the wild west they would plan to put Sharia law in Japan so Japan could be an Islamic nation that's the thing that what is going to happen and I think that whatever is going to happen if this happens by May 1st by May 1st you have to see you got to go and see what is better off for Japan and that's about it what would happen with this that the that the Japanese when after the first Islamic attack will have been you gonna spread America's Second Amendment all, all around Japan and and they gonna by you telling them about what's going on right here they gonna appreciate the Second Amendment in Japan are going to be increasing with their gun sales that no more for hunting and no more for these checks and whatever it is like what they have with the gun laws in Japan right now they're gonna flex their gun laws because of you Robert Spencer and that's the reason why I have set up the set up a Western that what's gonna happen in this fictional story in the Wild West is going to happen in Japan pretty soon. So goodbye folks and subscribe to my channel and hit, hit the bell with notifications if you want notifications. Have a nice evening and have a nice day and stay safe.